YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back on Total War Warhammer. We're going to be doing some uh, green skin gameplay here, and I was coming up against the Empire. I decided to put uh, Azeg on the ground, because the Empire has better air units. Um, so I put him on the ground. I brought an Arachnarok, just... I, it's a, it's definitely at risk from demigriffs with halberds, but it can certainly be helpful at trying to take down certain units. Probably the riskiest spend in my army. The rest of my army should be pretty solid. I've got Orc Biggins supporting Boar Boy Biggins, both of which have bonus versus large for the sheer intention of taking down demigriff knights. And then my center is made up of spear killing uh, infantry, which is going to be these uh, savage orcs. So they're actually really good at killing spears. And uh, Azeg's already being hit by a spell from um, Balthasar Gelt, which is some kind of direct damage spell because I end up eating a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, so yeah, my opponent clearly has Balthasar up here on the Pegasus. He's got a Witch Hunter down here. And then uh, he's got his line of spears, and he's got six Demigriff Knights. Six. These two have Halberds over here. So they're going to have a bonus versus large. And then two of these are Lance, and two of these are... Um, actually, all four of these are Lance. So yeah, most of his Demigriffs are made for anti-infantry work, which against the, um, the Greenskins... You actually do have to worry about cavalry and monsters like a Arachnorok spider. Now, don't don't be fooled, though. Even demigrips with lances are going to do pretty well against the Arachnorok. Um, but like I said, my Arachnorok serves a purpose. And then back here, I brought one unit of wolf riders with the little bit of money that I had available. And the purpose of this unit is to run down skirmishers, artillery, anything else like that that my opponent might have brought. And we'll just use it to the best of our ability. So I'm going to go ahead and approach because he's content to sit here and just use his magic and he'll probably just try and uh, snipe me. And since I don't have a flying unit, I mean, it's not going to be easy for me to use spirit cheese on his general. Um, right about now, though, I'm pretty happy that I brought Azag because I'm going to need Fate of Buna quite badly. It's OP. Disgustingness is going to be the only way that you can hope to get rid of six Demigriff Knights. So... Yeah, that's, this is one of the times where I don't feel bad about having Fate of Buna on my hand. Anyway, my Savage Orcs are going to engage his spear line, and they will slaughter his spear line unless they receive help. It, they'll negate my charge, but with the nice attack that my guys have, they're going to murder the spearman. I'm bringing in the Arachnorok, too, to chase after his Witch Hunter, who's running away. He probably should have used a Qs on my Arachnorok Spider, since my General is not nearby. I'm going to pin down the Demigriffs. And I'm going to hit one of them with the Fate of the Unit right away. So you can see me doing that. And I've got the Biggins coming in to support my Boar Boy Biggins, who would otherwise definitely lose the fight versus Demigriff Knights. But you can see that with Fate of Buna, I'm able to damage at least uh, one of the Demigriffs quite terribly. And then the uh, bonus versus large is actually very, very handy for a lot of the green skin units. Over here, my Savage Orcs are uh, definitely tearing apart his spears. It's only a matter of time, and his Witch Hunter gets caught back here by my Arachnorok. And I use my Wolf Riders to keep the Witch Hunter from being able to run away. So we're going to be able to finish off the Witch Hunter. He won't be of any use there. He, Like I said, he definitely should have been using a Qs. You can see the Savage Orcs mop up spears for a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice trade there. Some Demigriffs get, get past me because I'm not paying attention, but they're attacking my Savage Orcs. Uh, my Savage Orcs are not the important part of my army at the moment, so it's not a bad deal for me. Balthasar is out here. Not sure exactly what he's up to at the moment, but his Demigriffs are having to flee constantly from my big ball of uh, bonus versus large infantry, but my Boar Boys can keep the Demigriffs from fleeing, and it ends up being an effective combination. And then my Savage Orcs, of course, busted through. My Spider managed to wreck his um, Witch Hunter. And uh, now it's going to get attacked by Demigriffs with Halberds, though, and this is going to be a pretty nasty engagement for my Spider. I will hold on for a second, but it's not going to be great. I mean, the Demigriffs with Halberds are made for this kind of battle. The Arachnorok, definitely a lot of good armor-piercing damage, but it is, it is going to get hammered by those Demigriffs. You can see it uh, dropping rather quickly. But it is going to give me time to try and get some uh, cavalry and infantry over. Most of his Demigriffs over here have taken... Uh, some terrible blows, and um, I'm trying to use Fate of Buna again to keep pulling down Demigriffs, and then I'm going to bring in these Boar Boy Biggins to help support the Arachnorok Spider. Going to be a tough fight over here. The Arachnorok, though, is tanking a lot of the damage right now, though, so that's going to help my Boar Boy Biggins, who are stabbing the feathers out of these 
Demi Griffinites, but also being definitely hurt in return. Azag out here, it looks like he's uh, eating some other kind of spell, and then at that point my opponent admits defeat, and he definitely was in the throes of defeat. Most of his Demi Griff Knights were getting quite low on health. They'd just gotten hit by another Fate of Buna. Um, and honestly, that's one of the few times when I actually kind of feel okay with Fate of Buna is trying to stop Demigriff spam. Now, the problem with Fate of Buna, though, is, is yeah, it helps me out when someone brings a ton of Demigriff Knights like this. Um, but at the same time, like, that's cheese, and then Fate of Buna's cheese. So then I end up having to cheese the cheese, which is not my favorite thing to do. I would rather have to use tactics like I was, which was, like, supporting... Uh, board boy biggins with orc biggins because they all have bonus versus large so there's a little bit of strategy there and knowing which units to pick and how to play that counter and then it would be kind of cool if wizards were of course getting used to kind of buff up those fights the arachnorock spider ended up being handy in the sense that it kept the witch hunter far away from azag um, and balthasar apparently not as well suited to taking out um, azag so uh, not like it was a huge difference in the fight because it didn't even pick up a chevron, but I mean it, it got a little bit of work done and the witch hunter was driven off the field. Um, the demigriff knights were not able to pick up a significant number of kills and you can see my savage orcs here absolutely wrecked um, the main line of spearmen. So savage orcs are obviously more expensive than spearmen, but they can easily uh, go like two on one with spearmen and take it out. They're, they're a good unit to counter what is normally... Um, very cost-effective infantry for the Empire because the Empire is counting on you bringing much more expensive infantry and holding it up for longer. And Savage Orcs don't have armor or any of that extra cost. They come at a fairly low price, which, again, makes them a, a, a pretty good choice in my mind. Now, I think there's other units you could use with the green skins. The Savage Orcs I like just because they have a really nice charge bonus. Okay, against the Spears, not going to work, but in general it makes them you know, dangerous versus other infantry that doesn't have spears. You could also choose just like standard orc boys. Um, they're not going to have as much charge bonus or as much melee attack, um, but it's not a huge difference and they're at least shielded. So that is another option for you. You could just bring the standard orc boys. What I don't like about the, uh, well actually these units are the same level of leadership, so you're good. Between the orc boys and the uh, savage orcs, you can kind of take your pick there um, on how to, how to play that one. Uh, in terms of the rest of the uh, orc army, I mean, you, you, I mean the uh, greenskins, you do have some archer options, but I don't find them to be useful versus the empire per se. Uh, the orc boy, boar boy biggins, anything that says bigger and arder, these guys are going to have a bonus versus large, and that's you want that. That's very helpful versus other cavalry. It's also helpful against monsters, and for this price, this is a pretty effective cavalry unit in the game. If you're going up against a, a faction like Dwarves, where you don't expect um, large units, it's just going to be infantry, I would recommend just the standard Orc Boar Boys, because these guys are going to be uh, good against infantry. They come with a decent charge bonus. You can also use the Savage Orc Boar Boys, but you know a little more cost there. So Orc Boar Boys, very heavy, and you can use their mass to do a lot of damage on infantry. Um, so they, they can definitely be useful. I like the boar cavalry for the green skins. I find it to be a pretty pretty uh, good unit in general. Hope you all enjoyed this. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.